Hi, I'm Ellen Gerstein, and you're watching the Venom Vlog. I play Mrs. Manfredi in the Sony feature Venom that comes out October 5th, 2018. Right now, I'm playing a spunky character, Cherub, in a comedic feature called Turnover. I'm also an independent filmmaker, and Seek was kind enough to put a link in his description box to one of my short films called Come Away With Me. Check it out. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the show. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. And today we're going to talk about ADR, additional dialogue recording, and why you know big budget movies use it, why sometimes independent films use it, uh, what kind of you know point it serves, and how uh, crucial it can be in certain scenes and sequences. And also, one of the actresses from the Venom movie, uh, Shope Aluko, who was nice enough to post this awesome image online. I'll put it up here and we'll dive more into it, but she posted this image where she went and did ADR for the Venom movie. So we're gonna talk exactly about what ADR is, why it's important, and kind of what she did today. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute, but what I wanna get to first is I wanna send a special thank you to Ellen Gerstein for sending me that amazing intro that she did, that she took the time to record, and it looks great. She's like shot really well and, and lit really well, and she's beautiful and wonderful person and it was really nice that she did this uh, she wrote me and said hey is this your passion project you know doing the venom vlog and i said absolutely it's it's definitely something that has been helping me through some really tough you know health uh you know times of my life um and then also just a just a, t a tough time in my life in general even if i didn't have all the health stuff going on and so she wrote me back she watched a couple episodes and was like i really like this i find you to be you know very you know positive person and i definitely want to you know do a nice intro for you and i'm so glad that she did and then she also shared me a great short film that she did so i will put a link to that down below it is called come away with me and i highly recommend checking it out if you like drama if you like really well written dialogue scenes i thought it was wonderful and of course you know i've been in this situation before that her character is in this storyline only i wasn't her character i was the michael character and i've definitely seen people cry when i talk to them and they ask me about my memories and how much of my life i remember um you know post brain aneurysm rupture that is something that you know conversations i've had with people who you know when you're around family and loved ones they they want you to remember everything and uh, and unfortunately i didn't have that ability and i see i've seen what it looks like to break someone's heart when it comes to stuff like that and so when i watched this i knew immediately what was going on uh it's very emotional and it definitely tugs at your heartstrings uh, but i found it very endearing and very sweet at the same time um and so i highly recommend if, you know that sounds like your cup of tea please check it out please watch it and uh, and show us some love over on Vimeo. I'll put the link down below. But big shout out to Ellen. Thank you so much for, for sharing this wonderful piece of art that you made and, and for taking the time out of your day to do this intro for, for my fun little YouTube show uh, and to also, you know, spread the Venom love. Uh, we really appreciate it here. So thank you very much. And everyone, please thank her in the comments down below. Okay, so now let's talk about ADR. Additional dialogue recording is very crucial to movies in a lot of ways, but also it gives us some information about the process of this movie and maybe where they are in the process of finishing up the Venom movie. Because usually when you do ADR, you at least have, or you're very close to, a rough cut of the film, which means you have pretty much a cut of the film, I mean, almost like a director's cut in a way. And they're gonna go through and they're gonna clean up the shots, they're gonna you know, uh, color correct things, they're gonna add the visual effects, and they're gonna work on things. And they basically have almost you know, nearing their finished cut. You know, They're gonna have a rough cut and they'll still trim it down or they'll expand in some ways, whatever they gotta do, but they have something to work with. They have a strong foundation now. And so that gives us that information, which is really great. Uh, seeing Chopin here going and doing ADR, which is really awesome. And her post here says, starting off the week with with ADR. So she went and did it today, which is really awesome. Uh, she was at Sony Pictures uh, in Culver City here near where I live. And she says, I can't wait for y'all to see Sony Pictures Venom on October 5th, uh, 2018, and witness the incredible talent of director Ruben Fleischer. It's dope. I'm so excited. So there you go. Make sure you follow Chopin. I'll put a link to her down below and Ellen's page. I'll put a link to her Instagram down below as well, uh, along with her Vimeo video that she sent. Uh, but big shout out to Chopin. Uh, that seemed like she's having a lot of fun. And what ADR is, is like I said, it's additional dialogue recording. You're coming in and you're kind of cleaning up a line. Sometimes when you're on a big budget set, if you have like two, 300 people working on the set, which I, I think I did a count recently and I have to update it, but I think around 950 plus people 
have worked on the Venom movie to some capacity. I went through the IMDb and I counted everyone that was there. So there's still more people coming. They still update it, you know, every week or so. So, uh, you know, there could be up to a thousand, if not more now. So when you think about that many people, not all of them there are obviously in, on one single day, but a couple hundred might be. And so if you're filming on a sound stage or a set, it could get very noisy. And you might have noises that come up unexpectedly while recording that steps on a, a, a character's line. Maybe they didn't speak too clearly, or maybe, you know, they need to say what they said, but with a different inflection. So it kind of means something different, or maybe they were supposed to ask it more of a question as opposed to saying it excitedly. So, and that could change, you know, uh, the tone of scenes and it could help, uh, you know, paint the scene in a, in a more clear picture for the audience so they don't get confused. You want things to be nice and simple for people so they're like, oh, I understand their motivation or I understand why they said that. And you want to try to do that the best you can when you're making these movies. And of course, after you have a rough cut of it, you can look through and say, all right, well, if we have her say it this way, that might you know, help the audience understand where she's coming from. And so there's little things like that. So I don't know exactly what she went into ADR on. Uh, you know, it could be anything. If for some of, the, some of you were making a joke, I think uh, about she might be going in to say simple symbiote uh, you know as symbiote instead of symbiote uh, or symbiote or whatever uh, but I don't think that's the case I think she just went in to you know get some clean lines in there because like I said sets can be very noisy and even though you try to control the sound the best you can things sometimes happen unexpectedly especially when they shot some of these scenes on location like in Atlanta like underground scenes where those tunnels were and stuff you know there's some things you just can't account for and sometimes you need to clean that you know dialogue up so people can hear you even Venom's voice I'm sure is going to go through a little bit of tweaking in ADR just because they got a little bit of feedback of his voice you know like sounding a little muffled at times so I'm sure they're going to clean a lot of this stuff up so that's what ADR is that's why it's so important is to help clear you know clarify certain scenes and clarify maybe even a character's motivation in the scene and sometimes it's to add dialogue too maybe two characters are walking and their backs are facing the camera and they're like you know what we can add a line here that helps set up something that happens in the next scene and then they go oh yeah that's a great idea let's bring the actor or actress in to record that line so even though you don't see their mouths moving they'll record it and they'll edit it in and then that way something that happens in the next scene you'll be like oh that's why it happened because she asked you know shouldn't we be worried about this and then boom it happens or whatever so there's a lot of things like that that work for ADR that make it you know very useful tool for filmmaking in general and definitely in the post-production process so a lot of information today you know it's, it's pretty great I really love that you know doing episodes like this where we get to talk a little bit about filmmaking um, on top of everything else because I think a lot of times people out there just you know react to movies they they have their opinions on stuff they you know get mad about stuff or whatever and they don't fully understand what goes into filmmaking they don't fully understand you know, the process and I think sometimes when you understand the process you respect a little bit more the flaws sometimes or at least you understand why sometimes flaws can happen uh, because nothing's ever perfect and no one ever tr strives to do something perfect but they just strive to do their best and it takes a lot of people to put a film together and uh, and this is one of those processes which I just always found interesting and something that could definitely help a film and uh, it's it's made to help a film actually so that's the only purpose it has so yeah I just wanted to bring this to you guys and I'll even put a link down below to something about ADR that I found online if you want to read a little bit more about it uh, but that's generally what it is and I think you know that's what Chopin did she went today this morning to do some ADR so that's very cool of her that uh, she shared that with us because sometimes when they do that it's closed door stuff but it was neat that she was able to share that online and uh, and get in on this Venom action because I know that's that's what I've seen a lot of these actors on Instagram are getting very excited as we get closer to this movie they're just like we can't wait for you guys to see it we can't wait for you guys to see it and I know that's kind of the role they have to play too to an extent uh, but at the same time I, I feel genuine excitement from from some of these actors and it's really great and we saw Reed Scott and Michelle Lee after they appeared in the last trailer they're starting to get more active on uh, on Instagram and I think Twitter too with their you know sharing the Venom stuff and sharing the you know the uh, trailers and everything so this is great we're less than 60 days away I'm so excited for this uh, so yeah let me know what you think of, uh, of the ADR all that stuff down below let me know what you think of Ellen's film please give it a chance go watch it check it out show her some love on Vimeo and let you know let your love be known down in the comments below because I'm going to send this video to her so she can watch it herself and I would love for you guys to thank her if you can for me um, as you know show her that we're a very welcoming group of people that even though Venom's in our name 
uh, we are very nice people <laughs> and we're very positive people. And it was really nice for her to take time out of her busy schedule as a filmmaker. And she wasn't feeling well this week. And so she asked me, hey, can I have a couple more days to rest? So, and then I'll film this intro for you. So th she put that much thought and effort into it. And that means the world to me. So thank you to Ellen. Thank you to Jared. Thank you to Ariadna. Everyone who's done intros for this show, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for your hard work. I cannot wait to see Venom. And I can't wait for everyone to see your roles in these movies, especially now that we have Mrs. Manfred who might have a connection to you know other Marvel characters now so that's really cool that she said that in the intro uh, she said her IMDB was right she's Mrs. Manfredi and so that's cool that we have that now on the show thank you so much for watching my show as always guys let me know what you think like share subscribe all that fun stuff and I'll see you in the future peace